Hello everyone and welcome again to Design Underground. This is episode 16. Mm. I'm Rob, Design Epotamus Irving. Phil Tittle, Blue Dog. He is our esteemed producer. Mm, and esteemed. you don't get to see him on camera very often, so no. we decided to drag him onto the show for a change. And today we're actually going to talk about something that a lot of us have been doing. But we're going to talk about some basics of Blueprint, and particularly setting up Blueprint classes and using them in the game. Yep. And we're going to use an example that you built, yes. so you're going to get to show it off. But we'll talk a little bit about it, but let's go look at it on the computer so we can show them. Let's do. Okay, so here we are. We're looking at actual blueprints from our actual game for the first time, because last time we used a fakey fake one. <laughs> um, this particular one, we started, as you always do, you start with a class of blueprint that you want to derive from that has some base behaviors you want. In this case, we decided we are going to make a recharge zone. And the recharge zone needs to start from... Uh, trigger volume, in this case. So basically something that the character, the player, can overlap and get a behavior from. So we derived our class from a trigger volume, and we set up this base blueprint here. This is the event graph that comes. Every single blueprint class that you create will have an event graph built in already, and it comes with events like on begin play and on tick, basically the things that will happen frequently on every blueprint. Now, in this particular case, we do we do a begin play? Yes, we do. We do. What do we do with the beginning of the play? We're setting up a sound, mm -hmm. okay. And then a timer. What does and, that timer do? And the timer basically every X number of seconds goes and see uh, to check to see who's in my uh, trigger volume and then should I update them. Oh, okay. So in this case, when we begin overlap, we, we set who that person is right. and say, hey, I'm the one in there. So then it goes to update. And I know that you set up several variables over here mm -hmm. that are used for what it updates and how much it updates. So in this particular case, Phil set it up so that it can recharge, well, everything basically, right? right? You had it initially, it was recharging your shields mm -hmm. and your energy. Right. And what else? Missiles? Homing missiles, concussion missiles. <laughs> the whole idea is that the designer gets to pick what any given recharge zone is going to affect. Exactly. And then the rest of it is setting up more sounds to play. I guess there's a sound when you start charging, for instance. That's right. You know, that's, uh, that, that should be interesting to see. We'll, we'll have to show them this. But that's, I mean, there's not much more to this blueprint. There are, there's an update function that you've got in there. I don't know what that particularly does. What is your update? Well, let's take a look. Let's look at your update. Oh, look at that. Somebody's playing the game card right. because it's, it's running the debugger. Yeah. So all this does is, oh, increase shield, increase all the missiles and everything else. So this is the, when I actually am told I'm doing something on this particular ship, it tells that ship, hey, here's all your stuff. That's correct. And all those refer to variables that we set. That's here. Yep. So basically, that's the whole thing on this one. Uh, it's, it's a pretty simple blueprint, but it does a very important function for a descent game, which is your recharge zones, which you just can't live without. So... Needs more comments. <laughs> yeah. So yes, <laughs> yes it does. Phil may have overlooked one small step in his blueprint implementation. I prefer to think I just haven't gotten to it yet. <laughs> but let's let's look at it in action, shall we? All right, we're already in the game. Aren't? Oh yes, we are in the yeah. game. So right now we don't have an effect on it. We need to add that too. That's on our to-do list. But right now it's just the green light in the middle of the screen. Not very useful. So why don't you uh, go ahead? You and You want to steer me in that direction? I think you're steered close enough. Go All bounce right. off some walls. Let's turn up the volume just a little bit here. There we go. Someone is charging. And you can see charging the energy over here. Where did that sound come from, Phil? <laughs> it came from me actually after a, a plate of enchiladas. Nice. So now it's it's cranking up your energy. Now you notice that it's only cranking up his energy. Someone must have changed it. Well, let's go look at the the map real quickly then. Let's escape out of game mode real quick, and we'll go look at the blueprint. All right, so here we are back in our map, looking at the actual recharge zone as we've implemented an instance of it. And you'll look over here, and you'll see that we exposed all four of those variables to be edited on each instance. So in this particular case, we've set it so that energy charges five per second, Nothing else charges. Sorry, Phil, no missiles for you. Not in this one. Well, that was pretty exciting. Yeah. I'm all worn out. How about you? Oh, yeah. That <laughs> was a lot of work. <laughs> so thanks again for hanging out, and we will see you next time. <laughs>